Hello Junk Wax Investor Community! Today we'll be looking at the top 15 vintage other sports trading cards that sold on eBay in the last two weeks. This category features any sport except for the four major sports that we cover individually. Got an awesome top 15 list here and as always a great set of bonus listings as well at the end. You definitely don't want to miss those, make sure you stick around for them. Let's not waste any more time and get into the good stuff. Alright, starting us off in the 15th spot from 1971 Barrett & Co. Famous Sportsman. We have the Jack Nicholas Rookie Card, graded in near mint mint PSA 8. It sold at auction for $1,546.50. It's a pop of 239 in a PSA 8 slab. There are 46 graded higher, with the highest being 44 mint 9s. In the 14th spot from 1982 Wrestling All-Star Series A, we have a Ric Flair rookie card graded in near mint plus BGS 7.5 and sold at auction for $1,664. Had subgrades of 9 for surface, 8 for centering, 7.5 for edges, and a 7 for corners. It's a pop of 15 in a BGS 7.5 slab and there are 86 graded higher with the highest being 13 gem mint 9.5s. In the 13th spot, from 1966 Suparsa, we have a Pele graded in near mint PSA 7 with an OC qualifier. It sold at auction for $1,980.99. As a PSA 7 with a qualifier, it's the highest graded, and there's only one in the pop report. The highest graded without a qualifier is, a, is a two PSA 5s. In the 12th spot from 1948 Leaf, we have Joe Lewis graded an SGC near mint 7 and it was a fixed price sale for $2,100. In a near mint tuxedo slab, it's a pop of 9. And there are 8 graded higher with the highest being 2 SGC 8.5s. In the 11th spot from 1970 Panini Mexico World Cup. We have a Pele graded in near mint PSA 7. It sold at auction for $2,257. That's a pop of 4 in a PSA 7 slab. There are 8 graded higher, with the highest being 1 gem mint 10. In the number 10 spot from 1966 Sports Illustrated for Kids, we have a Tiger Woods rookie card graded in mint PSA 9. This was a fixed price sale for $2,500. Pop of 197 in a mint slab, and there are 23 higher graded gem in tens. In the number nine spot from 1962, flashes to football. We have another Pele graded in near mint mint PSA 8, and sold at auction for $2,904. That's a pop one, and that's the highest one graded for this uh, Pele card. That's the first sale on record on PSA's website as well. In the number 8 spot from 1960 Hemet's Journal, we have a hand-cut Muhammad Ali rookie card in raw condition. That was a fixed price sale for $3,000. There was a couple PSA 2 sales above $3,000 later in 2022 last year. So for the raw copy, you're around the price of a PSA 2. All right, moving on, we have a tie for the sixth spot. First up from 1935, J.A. Petroy Sporting Events and Stars. We have a Joe Lewis rookie card graded in near mint mint plus PSA 8.5. Sold at auction for $3,150. That's a pop of three and an 8.5 slab. There are four higher graded mint nines. Also in that sixth spot from 1982 Wrestling All-Star Series B, we have a Rick Martell rookie card graded in near mint mint PSA 8, and that was a fixed price sale for $3,150. That's a pop of 5 in a PSA 8 slab, and there's only one higher graded mint 9. In the fifth spot from 1982 Wrestling All-Stars Series A, we have a Hulk Hogan rookie card graded near mint mint plus BGS 8.5 and it sold at auction for $3,448. 
Subgrades were 8.5 for centering corners and edges and an 8 for surface. It's a pop of 48 and a BGS 8.5 slab and there are 28 graded higher with the highest being 10 gem mint 9.5s. In the fourth spot from 1999 World Boxing Magazine, we have a hand cut Manny Pacquiao rookie card graded gem mint PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $4,350. In the gem mint slab, it's a pop of only 15. All right, time to see we have in the top three. But before we do, just a quick reminder, if you need any hobby supplies, check out BCW Supplies. There's a link in the description box below. Use the code JUNKWAX10 and save 10% on your order. In the third spot from 1958 Aquarela, we have a Pele Rookie Card Black Number graded PSA 4. And that was a fixed price sale for $7,500. It's a pop of 8 in a PSA 4 slab. There's only 15 graded higher with the highest being 2 Near Mint Mint PSA 8s. In the number two spot from 1999 Panini Campionato, we have a Ronaldinho rookie card sticker graded gem in BGS 9.5. That was a fixed price sale for $9,499.99. No subgrades on this sticker, and I don't have a pop report on this one. When you type in the number, it does come up as a BGS 9.5. However, the pop report is blank. Ooh, something's messed up on BGSN there. And topping the list in the number one spot from 1958, Aleph We have a Pele rookie card graded at PSA 2. So this card sold at auction for $30,200. That's a pop of 16 in a PSA 2 slab. There are 73 graded higher with the highest being 6 mint 9s. This exact card previously sold in October of 2021 for $44,280. Imagine what a mint 9 would go for. The last sale of one on PSA's website was in November of 2020 for $295,000. All right, that's it for our top 15. Let me know in the comments below which one of these was your favorite card. And also while you're at it, please take a quick second and hit that like button. All right, let's get in some bonus cards. Up first, we have a slabbed ticket. This is from 1996 WWF Survivor Series. This is the debut of The Rock, graded a PSA 3 and a sold at auction for $1,880. It's a pop one in a PSA 3 slab and there's two higher graded tickets with the highest being one PSA 6. From 1981 Poppy Super Figures card, we have an Andre the Giant, Pretty awesome looking card here with him climbing over the top ropes. Graded in near mint mint PSA 8 and it was a fixed price sale for $1,325. That's a pop of 4 in a PSA 8 slab and there's two higher graded mint 9s. From 1971 Barrett & Co. we have a Muhammad Ali graded in near mint SGC 7. It sold at auction for $161.39. In a near mint 7 tuxedo slab, it's a pop at 2 with 85 graded higher, with the highest being 20 mint 9s. From 1887 Old Judge Cigarettes, we have a Jack Dempsey graded a poor SGC 1 and sold at auction for $260.03. It's a pop 1 in an SGC 1 slab. There are 2 graded higher, with the highest being 1 SGC 4. From 1989 Sports Illustrated for Kids, we have a Christy Yamaguchi figure skating card, graded in mint PSA 9, sold at auction for $23.13. That's a pop of only 3 in a mint slab, and there's none graded higher. From 1995 WWF Wrestling Magazine, we have a Hunter Hearst Helmsley rookie card, graded in PSA 2. That's a pretty low grade, and sold at auction for $29. It's a pop of only three in a PSA 2 slab, and there's actually only two graded higher, the highest being one mint nine. From 1955 Parkhurst Wrestling, we have an Argentina Roca graded in near mint PSA 7, and it sold at auction for $103.50. 
It's a pop of four in a PSA 7 slab, and there's only one higher graded PSA 8.5. From 1976, album Football Martial Arts, we have a Kung Fu Bruce Lee sticker in raw condition. Sold at auction for $52. That's a pretty awesome sticker. I haven't seen one of these before. Couldn't find this in the PSA pop report either. From 1993 WWF Quartet Series 6, we have a Bam Bam Bigelow graded gem in PSA 10. That was a fixed price sale for $79. It's a pop of one, and that's the first sale on record for this card. Up next, we have a two pack lot of 1990 classic monster trucks. You got two sealed packs here, sold at auction for $5.50. Start chasing those Bigfoot and Gravedigger cards. From the 1997 Panini WWF Superstar Stickers, we have a Stone Cold Steve Austin lining up for a shot on a late Owen Hart graded Mint PSA 9 and sold at auction for $31.65. That's a pop of 31 in the Mint Slab and there's four higher graded Gem Mint 10s. From 1974 Topps Evil Knievel, we have the Evil Knievel card number one graded PSA 6. That was a fixed price sale for $89.99. It's a pop of only 7 in PSA 6 slab. There are 36 graded higher with the highest being 1 mint 9. From 1997 Browns Boxing. 98 has the Floyd Mayweather Jr. rookie card that we always see on the top 15. This one here, 97, we have a Butterbean graded mint PSA 9. That was a fixed price sale for $96. That's a pop of four in a mint slab, and there's three higher graded gem in tens. From 1934, Ilsa Sweet Series 2, we have a Maserati card graded to Fair CSG 1.5. This card sold at auction for $86. That's a pop one and a CSG 1.5 slab, and there's one higher graded CSG 3. From 1996 Upper Deck SPX NASCAR, we have a Jeff Gordon autographed hologram in raw condition. This car sold at auction for a steal at $35. Wow, some of these 90s on-card autographed NASCAR cards are super cheap. From 1987, a question of sport UK. We have an Ayrton Senna in race car graded a Mint Plus CSG 9.5 and it sold at auction for $43. That's a pop of two in a min plus CSG slab, and that's the highest graded, at least with CSG. Over at PSA, it's a min PSA 9 pop 20, and there's actually only one higher graded gem in 10. A uh, near min PSA 7 sold for $37 back in May of 2022. From 1993 Futura Hot Surf, we have a Kelly Slater. Gold Limited production of only 500 graded mint PSA 9. That was a fixed price sale for $765. It was actually 1100 Australian dollars, and that's a pop one in a mint slab, and that's the highest graded first sale on record for that card. From 1977-79 Sportscaster Series 10, we have a Pele in raw condition, and it sold at auction for $21.50. The listing title says it does have a crease, so it's a pretty strong sale, seems like, for a raw copy with a crease, 21 bucks. There's only been 26 of these graded with PSA, the uh, highest being 11 mint 9s and 1 gem mint 10, but obviously with that crease, you wouldn't get that high of a grade. Up next, from 1951, I'm going to struggle with this title, Editrice Didasco. We have a Sugar Ray Robinson graded PSA 6. It was a fixed price sale for $900. And it's a pop of only two in a PSA 6 slab, and there's none graded higher. That's the highest graded. From 1972 STP, we have a Richard Petty rookie card in raw condition. That was a fixed price sale for $1,300. There's been 22 of these graded by PSA. The highest is two near mint sevens, one near mint mint eight, and one mint nine. So no, not a whole lot graded in the mid to higher grades. A PSA six of this card sold for $4,500 last August. 
and a PSA 8 sold for $8,500 in September. From 1965, Bancroft Tiddlers. We have a hand cut Muhammad Ali with a Goicho Sisters back, rated a mint PSA 9. It was a fixed price sale for $1,500. That's a pop 11 in a mint slab, and there's only three higher graded gem in 10s. And we're going to finish it off with a soccer or football album. This is a 1974 commemorative reprint set for the anniversary of Brazil's 58 World Cup victory, and is sold at auction for $255. So it's from 1974, so it has the look of the 1958 Pele rookie card. So it's a modified reprint of the 58 Aquarella set. The album itself is different from the 58 original to be able to tell the difference. It says the cards have similar fronts to the originals, but the backs have extra text intentionally in order to, 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 to the cards have similar fronts to the originals, but back the backs have extra text intentionally in order to distinguish from the originals. And they came in perforated sheets that were supposed to be glued in the special album. But anyway, pretty awesome vintage reprint of an even more vintage iconic card or complete set. But I think it's important to know that this is out there. As you can see the potential out there for people trying to play these reprints off as an original Pele rookie card. So be aware. Alright, that's it for the video. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite cards were. Also, if you have a quick second, please hit that like button. I truly appreciate the support. If you haven't checked out the affiliate links that we have in the description below, we have eBay partner network links for various search results specific to the video. If you want to do some browsing of some of these cards and sets, check out those links below. Pretty helpful reference. Also, we got a link to BCW Supplies, and you guys can save 10% with the code JUNKWAX10. And in addition, we have a link to the Market Movers app, and you can use the code JWI to get your first month subscription for just $1 to give it a try. As always, enjoy the rest of your day, and keep collecting. Thank you.